Welcome to Claria Yoga. My name's Claire. I'm a functional yoga coach and a self-care coach. How do you ensure that you take enough time for a little daily self-care practice, so prioritizing you? So diving straight in, you don't need any fancy equipment or it doesn't have to be anything to do with yoga necessarily. These tips are there just to help you to begin to establish a little bit of space and time for yourself. So my number one tip is to have a space that's set up for you. It doesn't have to be very large. It can be a corner of a room, but it's somewhere that you know is dedicated to you. You can have a little space, a little yoga mat, a meditation cushion, any type of equipment that you would like to bring into your self-care practice, such as a bolster, um, even just somewhere that you can stand up tall, stretch your arms overhead, maybe come into a forward fold. So you don't need too much room for that. Somewhere that you can maybe place a candle or something that inspires you. It could be a picture. It could just be a view out of a window if you have a view that you enjoy. Just little touches like that that really make it your sacred space, something that you can look at and know that is there waiting for you. My second tip is if you find it difficult really to think about your self-care, set an alarm. Now it doesn't have to be the same time every day, but by setting a daily alarm for yourself, you can plan your week out if you know more or less what your schedule is going to be, but set an alarm so that it comes on and it reminds you, maybe now is a good time for me to straighten up, slowly drop the shoulders, take three slow breaths, maybe go grab a cup of tea and take a very brief walk outside in nature if you have access to nature. Maybe it's just time to close your eyes, have a little stretch on the floor. So anything like that. The point of the alarm though is it prompts you to do just that for yourself. Take some time for you, no matter how short. It can be a few seconds. My last tip, so tip number three, is to find a practice that suits you. There are so many different forms of self-care, from walking to certain types of sports, such as swimming, um, sitting in nature, enjoying a cup of tea, but really connecting and having a mindful experience with that cup of tea, doing yoga, lots of different forms of yoga. Self-care is not necessarily about what you're doing, it's about feeling your body and really taking that time for you. It could be trimming the roses in your garden, having a mindful experience with that, but being connected to that space and time that is entirely yours. So disconnecting from anybody else that may be around you or any situation such as work, such as the daily grind that can cause heightened um, times of stress. So it's prioritizing that moment for you. Finding a practice that suits you means that you have much more motivation to want to do your self-care. And I point you now to the 21 uh, day self-care challenge that I have available on my website. It introduces you to all sorts of different practices each day you um, have something different. You uh, watch a video and you do it with me on the video. It takes only three to four minutes maximum. And by the end of the challenge, having committed to those 21 days of forming a good new habit for yourself, you will have seen different ways of looking after yourself. You'll be able to dip into whatever you feel by the end of it is a practice that really resonated with you. So. Uh, hop over to my website. I've popped the link below in the description box. Uh, by signing up to it, you get the email every day straight into your inbox. So you don't even need to go searching for anything. It comes right to you. And see if you can begin to step into your daily self-care. If you like this video and you found the information helpful, please hit the like button. And by subscribing to my channel, it helps my content to reach other people. And you will also get notifications to your inbox of any future videos that I put up here. So thank you for joining me. And I look forward to seeing you step in to your daily moments of self-care, prioritizing you. I'll see you next time.